so the landlord is obviously a creep, but we did it. We are now leaseholding tenants of this apartment. Not sure there's anything to celebrate. What happened to this place just needs an area rug. That is not all this place needs. It has potential. After a complete overhaul, maybe. An approach you might consider taking with your wardrobe. Excuse me. I realize Kate didn't hire you for your creativity or imagination, so just go with me on this, okay? Look past all the superficial stuff, like the color of the walls. The ancient furniture, the ancient plumbing, the ancient grime. Obviously, this place needs to be cleaned, which would be a perfect job for you because it requires no imagination You whatsoever. can't seriously think that I'm going to be cleaning up this place. You should be grateful that you have me for an interior designer. We don't need an interior designer. Are you joking? Okay, unless you can create some money with your great imagination, we can't afford to buy anything. I don't plan on being broke forever. And until we can afford to replace this stuff, we'll just have to make do with what we got. I'm gonna start on my new bigger bedroom. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, why, why do you get the bigger bedroom? Simple, because the big bedroom has a big closet and I need it. I have better clothes. You think that you should have the bigger bedroom because of your stupid clothes? Well, that's not a worry for you, and since you don't need all that extra space... Actually, I do. It's called having a boyfriend. Obviously, that's not a worry for you. That's slow. Rubbing it in my face and I'm not currently in a relationship. And for the record, I won't be listening to you and Johnny go at it for hours. Jealous much? We're roommates now. We have to cohabitate. There, we can't be getting in each other's space. It's called getting headphones. If this is just about sex, I'm sure the small room will be plenty for you. What's wrong? I know it's going to be Johnny. It's probably Spinelli. Spinelli! My very first visitor. Our very first visitor. Greetings, blonde cohabitants. And my very best friend in the whole and wide world. And the most honest, fair-minded person that I know. The fashion leases and training are actually living here together? Yeah, we signed the lease. And you're just in time. Dare I ask for what? Well, we need an unbiased third party to settle a little dispute. Yeah, should somebody have the bigger bedroom just because they're planning on having sex? Oh. Is it Maxi, you're high maintenance. Tell her. Well, if if by high maintenance fair Lulu means someone, someone who, who has high standards for her appearance and the image she projects, yes, I do. But we work in the fashion industry, remember? It's always about you, but now that we're living together, you're not the only one here. I am focused on my career. I want to become a success. You don't even take it seriously. You're a Dilla. Dilla. Oh, Dilla talk? Yes, you. You're taking her side. No. Yes. <gasps> no, no, no. Okay, but allow the jackal to offer some useful assistance. Okay, now that the the lease has been signed and the living arrangement is a a fait accompli, maybe now would be the best time to establish some basic rules of coexistence. Uh, the division of cleaning chores, for example. Or, or, or who will shop? Will you share food? Or each have your own shelf in the refrigerator or freezer? M making these decisions now can avert discord later, and I, I, I would be happy to facilitate. Okay. Item one, I get the big bedroom. Oh my gosh, let's make it fair. We'll cut cards for it. Your dad owns a casino. You've probably picked up so many ways to cheat. Does this look like a stupid face? I got it, I got it. Came as soon as I got you. Good, I want you to see my new place in my new room as soon as I get it. I, the job must respectfully decline. All you have to do is cut cards with Johnny. Okay. It's the only way Maxie's going to accept that I'm not cheating. You get the high card, I get the big bedroom. And if Johnny gets the high card, then I get the big bedroom. I, I fear the responsibility is too great. You're acting like the loser's gonna get kicked out on the street. No, they'll just be stuck in a postage stamp sized bedroom with a closet that wouldn't hold half of my beautiful <sighs> designer clothes. But no pressure. Go ahead. Uh, an omen, perhaps? The jackal has picked a jack. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I know you can do it. You're gonna get something higher. It's fine. It's fine. So the jackal has failed you. He didn't fail me. It was just dumb luck. I guess it won't be so bad having Johnny around. Uh, around meaning? Johnny cut ties with his family. I moved out. And Jax kicked him out of his apartment that he was living with Claudia in, so... Not that I was gonna stay because I don't want another dime of my father's money. And he's got no place to go, but now that I have a gigantic bedroom with a closet for two, he can stay here as long as he wants. The jackal protests. <laughs> 